Hi, this is Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I'm going to read you Franklin Plays Hockey. And um, we have some of our grandsons that play hockey. They're good little hockey players. Franklin Plays Hockey. And the, um, the author is Paulette... Paulette Burgall, Burgoy, and Brenda Clark. Franklin loves sports. In spring, summer, and fall, he plays baseball and soccer. In the winter, he played hockey. As soon as the pond was frozen, Franklin was the first one to lace up his skates. On cold winter day, Franklin hurried to the pond. He was out on the ice by the time his friends arrived. Bear put on his helmet and picked up his stick. Um, think we'll win today, he asked. We always do, Franklin laughed. Beaver scowled. The game started. Within minutes, Franklin had scored the first two goals. It wasn't long before Bear scored too. This is fun, exclaimed Bear. Hmm, muttered Beaver. It would be fun if my team was winning. The friends raced up and down the pond. Franklin scored goals and blocked shots. After his fifth goal, he heard cheers from the hillside. Can Raccoon and I play too? Called Skunk. Sure, answered Franklin. Get your skates on and pick a team. Skunk chose Franklin's team and Raccoon chose Beaver's team. I'm not as good as you and Bear, Skunk warned. Don't worry, replied Flank Franklin. We're just having fun. But soon Franklin wasn't having much fun at all. Skunk couldn't do anything right. He couldn't skate fast and he couldn't pass the puck. He couldn't break up a play and he couldn't shoot on the net. When Franklin got a breakaway, Skunk fell over and knocked him down. Then Raccoon scored three goals, one right after another. Now I'm having fun, declared Beaver. When Raccoon scored another goal, Franklin said it was time to quit. What's wrong, Franklin? teased Beaver. Scared of losing, Franklin shrugged. I'm just tired, he said. Then let's play again tomorrow morning, suggested Rabbit. Franklin looked at Skunk. Uh, same teams? he asked. Of course, said Beaver. As everyone headed home, Skunk caught up to Franklin. You'll have a better chance of winning tomorrow without me, he, she said. I'll come and cheer for you, but I won't play. Oh, Skunk, I, Franklin started to say, but Skunk, skunk hurried off. Well, she looks kind of sad. At dinner that night, Franklin picked up his food. He didn't finish even one piece of fly pie. When his parents asked what was wrong, Franklin told them about Skunk. I don't want to lose the, tomorrow's game, Franklin explained, but I don't want Frank, I don't want Skunk to feel bad either. It isn't easy being part of a team, said his father. I thought hockey was supposed to be fun, Franklin groaned. In the morning, Franklin called on Bear. Skunk isn't going to play with us today, he told Bear, she thinks she isn't good enough, but she's only played one game, Bear replied. He ha we have to play lots of games before we're any good. Remember when Jack Rabbit let us play with all the big kids? Franklin asked. Bear laughed. I couldn't even stand up, he said. Franklin sighed. I wish we were still playing with Jack Rabbit, he said. He'd know what to do. When Franklin and Bear got to the pond, they saw Skunk. She was on the ice skating back and forth. Don't worry, called Skunk. I'm not here to play. I'm just practicing for next season. Next season, Franklin exclaimed. Maybe by then I'll be as good as you, Franklin, she said. Franklin laughed. I, was, I wasn't always this good, he said. Once I scored a goal on my own net. You did, Skunk asked. Franklin nodded. I made a lot of mistakes at first. You sure have gotten better, said Bear. Franklin thought for a moment. I sure have, he said slowly. Franklin watched as Skunk untied her skates. Suddenly he knew what to do. Skunk, wait, 
If I got better the more I played, then so will you. You have to play with us. You mean you want me to play on your team uh, one day? I mean, I want you on our team today, answered Franklin. Then uh, he answered, hockey is a team sport, skunk, and we can't, you can't get better practicing all by yourself. Skunk grinned, and then she bent down and tied up her skates. Soon the other team arrived and the game got started. Cheers and yells echoed around the ice. Franklin and Bear each scored goals, but so did Beaver and Raccoon. Then Franklin got a breakaway. The empty net loomed ahead. No one was near him except Skunk. Stick, it, stick on the ice, Franklin called this to Skunk. A second later, he passed her the puck and Skunk got the, caught the pass. She wound up and shot and scored. Skunk whooped and hollered. I feel like a real hockey player, she exclaimed. You are, said Franklin, and I feel part of a team. That's a good one. It's so, it's so important for us to help when other people don't, don't know how to play as good as us. It's okay to let them be in our team and to help them get better. Um, because we all start out not knowing how to play and as we practice, we get better, right? So I hope that you will remember that and I hope that you like this um, video and subscribe to our channel.